Hey guys, it's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at the Builder's Brawl outside of St. Louis. I'm joined here by Mike McCoy. Behind us is his 632 big block in a 1966 Chevy 2 Nova, and it's gonna be our Engine of the Week. Engine Builder's Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade. Precision Performance Pengrade. Always the original green oil. L-Ring DOS Original. Leading technology, leading service. And NPW and Engine and Performance Warehouse for all your parts needs. Mike, thanks so much for giving us a few minutes here uh, on you know setup day, to the test and tune day of Builders Brawl. Uh, you know we got your Nova here behind us and uh, 632 uh, big block here, and we'd love to know a little bit about it. I understand. Uh, the engine comes from Blueprint. Can you walk us through a little bit about it? It's a crate engine from Blueprint. Anybody can buy them. Uh, it's easy, I'm not an engine builder, so we, it's easy for us. It's 840 horsepower on pump gas. Okay. They manufacture everything in Nebraska, Blueprint engines for the engine. We put everything else on it, the alternator, water pump, headers, everything. Yeah. It's got an induction solution, 100 horse nitrous shot to give us that extra if we need to get into high fives. That's uh, it, it usually runs pretty consistent. It's uh, it's a power getter for a pump yeah. gas. Yeah, yeah. Now, like you said, Blueprint does everything in this engine, right? Cranks, everything, you know, rotating assembly, and yeah. heads, and everything. The, they they do the heads. They cast the heads. The engine block. Uh, the only thing they use the Elder Brock and the Holly Car MSD stuff, but they do all the main casting in Nebraska. Yeah. And uh, if you had it in a street car, it comes with warranty. Okay. <laughs> so, and it works good for uh, bracket racing, uh, this grudge stuff we're doing. And, you know, you take a light car, I mean, this is a heavy car, 2,950 pounds with me in it at the end of the race. Yeah. It runs six seconds on pump gas. Yeah. So that's yeah. pretty good power pretty, maker pretty with an 11 power. to 1 motor hydraulic cam. So, okay. Hydraulic roller. Yeah. Yep, yep. Very good. And now I understand that you know you did a lot of work. You might not have done a ton of work on the engine, but you did a ton of work on the uh, car. Transmissions, uh, the the reed power glass. I keep an extra one in the trailer in case we got to put something together. Solenoids, um, alternator, water pump, uh, shocks. We do a lot of that. Okay. Um, that's basically. I bought this as a basket case. Uh, we had to put some go to a certified welder to get the the cage updated. Uh, okay. He did a lot of the the TIG welding to get it in HRA. It's certified 750 okay. and the quarter. Yep. So it's good for 450. Uh, it don't run 450s, but uh, it's certified it's safe. And yeah. we got everything from that. And uh, Racer yeah, yeah. T's uh, gives me the the uh, the names and the lettering. That's a little shout out for them. And I have done a few of the no prep stuff, but Joe started this builder brawl deal. And, I was supposed to brought my Sunny car. Uh -huh. It wasn't ready. I do a lot of the work on it uh, myself. Yep. But we're we're here with the Nova instead. Okay. Very good. So, Mike, do you want to talk a little bit about you know how you found out about Builders Brawl? You know what what made you want to come down to this race, and then how long did it take you to get the car set? To come I've down? had the car about a year or so ready, doing some stuff with no prep. Last year, I met Joe at. Uh, no prep kings race okay. in ohio mm -hmm. and got to be friends with him on facebook he uh started this deal and you got to be a builder i don't have a million dollar shop i don't have a half million dollar hauler you got to do a lot of the work on yourself wire it plumb it whatever you need to do mm -hmm. i like that idea you know and a lot of these guys with the tuners there's guys here with that tune you can do this with a timing light and a screwdriver okay there's no electronics just do it yourself. Yeah, pretty so Joe's a uh, uh, stand-up guy. He's put on a show. I could have been going to another deal, but I like Joe and I like what he stands for. I think this is a new thing. Let's, yeah. If you did it, bring it, race it, and we'll see where you, you fall. Yeah. You know? Definitely Dude. a cool concept that it's not necessarily the dollars, it's the knowledge yes. and you know, your yeah. ability to do stuff on You the go to a no-prep race, some of these guys got seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 in the motor. Right now, you can buy this engine from Blueprint for fifteen grand drop it in the car you know your transmission everything else goes long but yeah. you can't compete with a 
this against the big guys. So you can come out here, these that everybody does a lot of the work themselves yep. and maybe compete. Yep. So, Absolutely. And that's what Joe's idea was, just get the regular Joe out here when it started back in the day. And uh, hopefully we do good. And if yep. we don't, we're here, we're to have a good time. Right. So Mike, you mentioned that the car can do sixes in the, in the eighth. Is that kind of the- On pump gas. On pump gas. Is that the goal for the weekend? You know, what's, what are your I'd goals? I'd like to get 575, 580 out of it, and okay. that'll get us in the high five. Then once Joe sets the uh, the bar at the high five class, then we can tune it, set the timing, mm -hmm. carburetor jets, whatever we need to. Uh, that's a nice thing about this instead of fuel injection is I can change jets timing on this without doing it on a laptop. Yeah. So I'm hoping 580-ish. It runs 604, 620s on carburetor, pump gas, no nitrous, day in, day out, when I take it to a, a race. So yeah. I think we'll be good there. And then remind us how much horsepower, just motor, and then how much with the nitrous? 840 just on motor, okay. 100 horse nitrous, so should put me at 940. I am running some uh, 100 octane AB gas, awesome. which should bump it up just a little bit, yeah. and uh, I guess the time slips will show. Yeah. And yeah. Mike, in terms of the oiling system that you're running, are you a wet sump, dry sump? Yeah, it's a wet sump, just it runs 60 pounds of oil pressure yeah. when you come in. Yeah. Oh. Very good. Thank Mike, you. anything else about what you did on the car for this weekend that we're leaving out or anything else you want to make? Uh, no, this is usually, we were, we ran just like this a couple weekends ago uh, against a couple guys in the old truck and done really well. So the only thing we're going to change is uh, we did put the 100 horse shot on from yep. Steve at Induction Solutions. Yep. Put that on and uh, that should bump me, get me down from that 604, 608 down to 580s, I'm hoping. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. Very good. Well, Mike, we appreciate you giving us some time and uh, wish no you the best problem. of luck. No problem. Glad this you weekend. guys are here. Yeah. yeah. Guys, make sure you're checking out Engine Builder for more engine content. And we appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.